it's like 6, 619. 619! And what did we get last night? Daniel Bryan tickets. And we, $88. Yeah, we got it under under face value and we wanted this from the get-go, but we didn't get it. And then last night, he's been looking every day for them. And then last night he finally found something that's reasonable and came in too, so I was like, hey, I'll buy one too. Cause, then yeah. turn left. He's gonna get him to sign his uh, which belt? Which belt? My uh, World Heavyweight Championship belt. The, the one he won in New Orleans. Awesome. Thank and I'm gonna, he's gonna sign my big gold Benoit belt. Last year he gave me Turn a sloppy signature, but I'm gonna to ask him for his best because this is my favorite item in my possession. <laughs> Aside from my Michael Jackson hat, of course. Oof, here we go. Holy shit! Stone Cold Steve Austin's running! Running away! Holy fuck! What? The, oh my god, he's open, gonna open up a can of whip ass on someone. Fuck. Can't believe this. Wow. We're, we're right next to a legend. Look at... He probably has a smoking skull belt right there. Holy shit! Motherfucker, that's Austin 316. And props that, props that. Oh yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to meet him. It's too bad he's running away. Fuck, we gotta get a sig from him. Tell him how much he meant to us and how dope his Austin 316 promo was at King of Ring 96. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, you should you should just share a beer with him. I, sh I should. I but should you know what happens when you share a beer with Stone Cold? You don't really share. We're going to get it all over you. And you're going to get a stunner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a stunner. You know, I think that's the one thing that breaks me out of straight edge is to share something with Stone Cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's never going to happen. Oh, well, Mr. Blow My Nose. I'm going to blow my nose. Make sure it doesn't play. Let's go. Boom. It's the big day's tomorrow. Here we are. San Jose McEnery Convention Center. And that... That yesterday, I was like, what the fuck is that, a dick on the... But it's just a bunch of lights. I'm coming, Sean. God damn it, why am I doing this? Every time I come through here in these fucking things, I feel like that character running away from Shrek in the first movie and then Shrek just walks through it. Remember then the ropes? And oh my god, it's Sting. It's Sting. Sting! Oh, he's not very enthusiastic. He must be WCW Sting that doesn't talk. How's it going? Oh yes, I didn't get to do my, I didn't get, I got a second one, but I didn't get to finish it. Yeah, it's going awesome. Sting here, I should ask him what his favorite, what's your favorite match, Sting? <laughs> Woo! Which match, is, with the nature boy? Woo! <laughs> Which, uh, you got your bat in your trench coat there? I did, but I was going to bring it, but I said it wasn't allowed. Really? Yeah. You should say I'm Sting, let me through. Yeah, well, uh, sequence what's your what's your favorite belt design though out of all all belts? Oh the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The big gold? Oh that big one. Gold. Yeah. I don't like Ooh. Too much. For me? Winged Eagle, baby. Oh yeah, winged eagle all the way. It's just a classic. Alright, we got we, we, we gotta get one of those. Yeah, I should have got one. <laughs> Next time. You know what? I think I'll get one today. And All right. When I, get, and I, when I get it today, I'm going to get it signed by Bret Hart and Kevin Nash today, too. Sweet. Okay. Me, when too. When I find it, I'm going to make sure there's a Ric Flair one signature already on it and a Hogan signature. That's going to be expensive, dude. That's going to be like over 3000 Yeah, it is. Albert! How's it going, man? How are you doing? Is this, this A-Train? Albert? <laughs> one for Brian here. And then, are you also for Brian? Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the best of today. He's one of the best of today. Who's got as many holes as Demon Lee? Brock Lesnar. It's close. Uh, Brock Lesnar. We'll find out. Brock Lesnar is, 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 Brock is, is fun to watch. Roman Reigns best in ring? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Roman Reigns is a schmuck. I'll think. 
I don't care. I'm going for Reigns. I told, okay. I told you this I know, morning. I know. Everyone has their own opinion. I know. Uh, Reigns has, is the best in Reigns. And, and, and why, anyone why that? against Brian. How come, why do you think that? What makes you think that? Because everyone says Reigns has three moves. Okay, so he has three moves, but he has like two man punch, which is powerful. Spear, which we all know is a good move because Ed's used it. Many people miss. Yeah. And the basement drop people, you know, it's all like. These guys got to know technical wrestling. wrestling. And they don't know technical you wrestling. I should bring up my Benoit belt right, right here. I'm sure if you want to enter the Royal Rumble, it'd be hard. It's all hard to see in the Royal Rumble. These guys don't have real logic on what is good in wrestling and in ring, and I know what is up. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, Danny O'Brien, Bret Hart. Hey, Danny Bryan let Roman Reigns win. Yeah, he did. Last he week, let him win. That's right. I did, I saw that. You got engaged? I did. I WrestleMania weekend. That is awesome. You got yourself a winner. If she's the best. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. I'd love to have me a WWE girl. <laughs> what was that, Tay? Programs, programs, clear bags, right here. Uh, what Biatch, was that? we hear you. We hear you, Biatch. What about that voice? What about that voice? Hers, her voice. Hers like that. Programs, programs, clear bags, right here. <laughs> we see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope that, I hope you guys heard that. That is awesome. Now we're on to WrestleCon. We met. We both got interviewed after seeing D. Bryan. Oh, I was actually super excited um, after I already, already met him. Heck yeah. How was it meeting him? Oh man, dude, it was amazing. That dude is so awesome, man. Chill guy. Yeah, he is. And then you got interviewed. Was it all military based again? Uh, half of it was military based. Uh, just just chit chatting, just getting to know those guys. End up trading numbers with them, and oh, sick! Wants me to go to a free show next week in Dallas. That's awesome. I told awesome. him I wanted to work though. He said he could make that happen. What could you work? What could you, could you do? I don't know. I'll make somebody's coffee. <laughs> as long as you're <laughs> part of it. At this point, I don't even care, dude. Because you, 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 you would work your way up the totem pole. Yeah, you don't even have to pay me. Just get yeah. me down there. And then, then your character would shine through and then yeah. it would... Yeah, exactly. Um, last... Last year, I, when I met Diner Brian, he kind of gave me a sloppy signature. I told him how important my Benoit belt was, and I need a really good one. And he was so impressed when he saw it. He was like, wow. And he said, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Do my best. And then I said, he, Benoit must be one of your biggest inspirations because of your considering your moveset. He said, absolutely. And then, yeah, it was great. I got a yes chant photo. But last year, he um, held my hand up. So, yeah. Good stuff. Kaboom. And I got some signed up with Warrior. I know, the most you can do is 450. Because it's Warrior, you know. Yeah. I'm assuming these are. Where the fuck is Kevin Nash? Nash ain't here yet. So we're going to be smart and go get in line for Mr. Bret Hart. That heart's gonna get. No, no way. He might. He's going to the Hall of Fame this year. True. Here's a look at WrestleCon. There's a. Okay. This is Mr. Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump. Yeah, well, I think we're being smart here, Tay. So we're just walking over to meet Bret Hart, and someone pulls up to us, Scott Hall. Scott and, Hall. And you said, "Sweet shirt, bro." Who got you, you that? Who got you that? My boy Law got me that. That's My sick. My boy Law got me this shirt. He rolled down his fucking window to say that. Yeah, to he you. stopped his car. He said, "Sweet shirt, bro," and kept going. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're meeting him after. Yes. Woo! Cannot get a, wait. Get a woo. Woo! Ha. Waiting for the hit man. Coke slam. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Lifting you up. 
Oof, I just met Bret Hart. I am just, oh, I can't believe this, this belt, this is my favorite here. Bret Hart. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. Chris Benoit, Daniel Bryan, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair on the back of this. God damn it. This is beautiful. Brett was really impressed with the Chris Benoit. He was like, wow. And I got this signed, and then two in here, Hart Van Ocean and himself. I'm excited. Bravo. Um, so I went to a gas station last night. Yeah. And um, look at me. Yeah. Do I look Hispanic? Yeah. You do? Because yeah. I went to the gas station, and the guy, the guy started speaking Spanish to me. I was like, and I was wearing a Native American choker well, and, it's, and a Canada jersey. It's funny jersey. because, you know, Native Americans speak, speak Native American to me. Oh, Because right. <laughs> <laughs> I Canada, it's like, God, it's right. so many Native Americans. Oh, yeah, and, totally, yeah. And uh, I was like, do I look like, what? Yeah, but, yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, well, well, well now I guess that. You must be a white guy. You must take it all the darker guys look the same. I get it. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, man. Peace out. Yes. Nice to meet you. They're behind you, dude. They're behind you. Post. No post. Place it to be, you motherfucker. We got a mile to go. Hopefully, it doesn't last too long. Is he trying to? What the fuck? Yeah, he's doing that on purpose. Trying to get people's attention. Unless somebody's joyriding. Imagine that. I don't uh, know why he would do that, though. That doesn't make any sense. That's nothing. That doesn't seem like any police protocol at all. I'll well, add an all-you-can-eat buffet. I got some stuff. And look what Ashanti got. Of course, chicken. Black guys love their chicken. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have to say to Kevin Nash? Next time. Next time. He owes you, man. At least forty-one ninety-nine. You had this on for him. I was pissed, man. Like for real. I really wanted to meet that dude, man. Yeah. Super Shredder. Yeah. Was he Super Shredder? Yep. Really? Yep. Pretty dope. And the original Turtles movie, though, right? The second one. Yeah, the, with the originals. Yes. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. It said, like, oh, all this place got taken away, but this maybe his fourth plate or something? Yeah, yeah, fourth. Um, fourth full plate. There's a difference. Could you um, out eat Ryback? Huh? Feed me more. Who'd win in an eating competition? If you Ryback? Ryback? Yeah. Probably me. My nickname is Munch for a reason. <laughs> challenge him, man. For challenge him for his spot in the for his spot in the Battle Royal. Yeah, and then 
when he gets like all full and he can't do it, I'm gonna tell him finish it. <laughs> imagine, no, imagine if you could compete with him and then winner gets a spot in the Bobby Battle Royal. Oh yeah, everybody's getting knife edge chops. <laughs> and fireman's carry. <laughs> Yeah, fireman's carries and double overs. But then, your what if your um, your um, worst enemy Kane comes, starts some fires? Oh, like I'm his worst enemy, for real. Like I would just put him out. <laughs> Firefighters put fires out. That's what we do. That's yeah. What we do. Hell yeah. Kane are just running like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> One man alone. Betrayed by the country he loves. <laughs>